2,500 years ago, when they buried dead people, they'd stick in little jewels and valuables and things that might be useful in the afterlife. Remember King Tut? His was the most complete ancient Egyptian royal tomb ever discovered, and when they opened it, they found a fortune. That gold coffin and all the things inside of it these days would be valued at about $100 million. Can you imagine putting that kind of a treasure in the ground? Well, some very smart people say we do it every day. Every time we bury someone or allow them to be cremated without having donated their brain, neuroscientists believe that some of the most precious tissue known to man goes wasted. This is what is more important than anything to neuroscientists when it comes to finding the answers to brain disease. It is a human brain donated upon death for use in neurologic research. This one is from a 101-year-old man who was said to be very astute up until the time of his death. That may be related to the fact that his brain is a little bit larger and shows fewer signs of deterioration than a typical person his age. This one is going directly back to the brain bank when we're finished this evening. It is on loan to us tonight just to help illustrate the importance of this cause. Because here's the thing, there is an urgent need for people to donate their brains when they die. And it's because there are 50 million Americans, that's one in six of us, who is suffering from some kind of neurologic disease or disorder. If you think about it, that's someone in your immediate circle. Whether it's Parkinson's disease, autism, now impacting one in every 42 baby boys born, dementia, mental illness, schizophrenia, a traumatic brain injury, someone you know is in the thick of it right now. And, sorry to tell you this, but it's not going to get any better. Our chances of being diagnosed with a neurologic disorder increase as we age. And everybody knows Americans are living longer than ever, right? So you can see where this is headed. The problem is not enough people know that brain donation is a critical need right now. Or they think that by having checked the organ donation box, they've got it covered. Brain donation is not included in organ donation. Separate arrangements need to be made. Same for uh, whole body donation. That's usually for, through a medical college for anatomical study, and the brain is much more valuable for neurologic research. By the same token, you don't have to have a neurologic disorder to be a brain donor. Uh, Non-diseased, so-called control brains, are just as valuable. If you're thinking you might want to have an open casket, it's not a problem. Brain donation is not disfiguring, and it won't cost your family anything for you to donate your brain when you die. So, how did I get to be this brain guy? Um, unfortunately, we learned all this the hard way. Um, my dad died two years ago from Lewy body's dementia, and he had wanted to be... There he is. Happy Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He had wanted to be a body donor, and then when uh, we did some research, we found that his brain had extra value because of his disease. So we made arrangements to donate his brain, and there were immediately two benefits that were just really surprising to us. The first one, and this sounds kind of corny, but it's true, we felt a tremendous sense of solace and comfort knowing that something good was coming of his death that maybe we were helping some family somewhere years down the road, sparing them from the ravages of this particular disease. And the other benefit has to do with this background that you see. These are actual, they're called histolic images of my dad's brain, enhanced to show the white parts, which are the proteins that are the hallmark of Lewy body's dementia. Here's why that's important. There are lots of brain diseases that can't be definitively diagnosed while someone's alive. You can only really tell what's going on until a post-mortem autopsy report. That's not a routine procedure, nor is it an inexpensive one. 
but that kind of pathology report is available to the family with brain donation. So now we know, and someday when we know more about Lewy body's dementia, that'll become even more valuable. So two years ago when we did this, we told a lot of people about it. Um, and some really smart, very well, even medical people had no idea that brains were needed like this, and many of them wanted to make similar plans for themselves. But it was very complicated then. The, N the National Institutes of Health had just started recognizing this huge need because researchers were coming at them again and again, saying, we need high-quality, well-characterized brain tissue for our studies. So they put together this network of brain banks across the country called the Neurobiobank. They are at Mount Sinai in New York, the University of Miami in Florida, uh, UCLA, uh, University of Maryland, and at Harvard. And their job is to retrieve, store, and distribute this precious tissue to researchers. But they still needed help getting the word out. That part they hadn't really gotten their arms around yet. So, Last year, we launched the Brain Donor Project, which is a not-for-profit not uh, built solely to support the neurobiobank of the NIH. Our focus is to raise awareness and simplify the process of brain donation. So we sort of work as a conduit. People can come to the website, learn what they need to know about brain donation, and then begin the process by filling out an online form and getting the process started. In the six or seven months that we've been operating, we now have donors from 46 states, representing 50 categories of brain disorders. So, we all... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. We have come so far in our knowledge of the brain. Researchers have learned more about the human brain in just the last 20 years than in all of recorded history. You know, no longer do we mummify our dead and bury them with their riches to provide for the next life. Now we can provide for the improved health and wellness of future generations by gifting the most valuable thing we have, just like this man did when he donated his brain to science. Thank you.